When I was at the G7, I said, I have an idea. Everybody, I'll guarantee you, we'll do it immediately. Nobody pay any more tax. Everybody take down your barriers. No barriers, no tax. Everybody, are you all set? No more tax. Canada, you're not going to get 275% for your dairy, and you're going to take down all your barriers. We're going to take down all our barriers. We're going to take down all our taxes, right? You know what happened? Everybody said, uh, can we get onto another subject? President Trump talking to Maria Bartiromo about a no taxes, no barriers trading zone with Europe and Canada. Today, nobody's responding. Idea did not go over very well, but look at this. Back in April, the European Union and Mexico, they reached a trade deal. All trade and goods, practically all of them between the EU and Mexico, now duty-free, no taxes, including the farm sector. This is Canada fights Trump tariffs with tariffs of their own on Look at items like yogurt, coffee, whiskey, ketchup. Yeah, we're getting to Heinz ketchup packets. Let's take it to the panel. Investmark Advisory Group's Michael Lee and owner of Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo. Melissa, EU and Mexico doing what Trump is asking for. Your reaction? I know. So exactly. Why can't they cooperate? Trump is taking a hard line. They don't want to cooperate. No, but he's, he's, he's unreasonable about this, right? Well, that's what they say. Right. But there, there's good reasoning and thinking behind what he's saying because the tariffs really aren't fair. And yet they made this agreement with Mexico. EU did. So why are they fighting with Trump to do this? It doesn't make any sense. And also, I want to note on Friday, those new tariffs come out that we're putting uh, are, are that are going against China expect some big action July 6th. That's You're talking a big, in the big markets? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's 40% tariff. Not just today, because I know today it's was 40% tariff. Oh, it's 40? Yeah, they were talking 25. about that. Wow. Michael, your reaction to that, uh, the fact that EU and Mexico now, EU and Mexico have a tariff-free tariff trade zone. Well, you know, that's good. That's the way it should be. Yeah, but the point is uh, that Trump, however, is asking, uh, Trump is asking for that. And here, the EU is saying no, and then all of a sudden, the EU and Mexico have it. So it, it, that's because it's a much smaller, uh, you're talking about much smaller dollar terms. Um, the U.S. is a big consumer of manufactured goods all over the world. We have a so massive trade So it's okay to high, have I don't understand your logic there. I don't get it. So what is that, it smaller? That, that, the, that it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a rounding error, right? So compared to the U.S., they need that, they need that money from tariffs to protect their own industry. And, like, if you look at the goods that are – the U.S. goods that are produced that are tariffed over in the Europe, that's there to protect the lobbyists that have bought off their yeah. various politicians to be there. Like, these, these tariffs are stupid. You need, to, you need to tear them down. And the ones in Canada are particularly the worst. Melissa, I mean, what? I, Justin from Canada – I Sorry? hear. I, go ahead, Michael. Finish your point. I was going to say, Justin from Canada just threw these ones on at the last minute. Just it's all for political posturing, right? Yeah. They're not going to go anywhere. They're a huge trading. We're a huge trading partner for them. We actually have a slight trade surplus. Mm -hmm. So the, the problem is, is the manipulation of the rules. So uh, countries are yeah. countries like China are going into Canada and Mexico and pushing goods into the U.S. tariff free, and they're they're bending the rules and breaking the rules. They're not applying by the rules that we have set forth to, for a free trade zone. Melissa, what? inning are we in with this first second inning i don't think this is over by a long shot this could go on for days it could go on for weeks it could go on for months are you worried? Is, i'm i'm not worried and long term the markets look good but short term right now this summer i said it i don't think the s p or the dow make new highs this summer even though the nasdaq did look for more selling to continue even though we got bought up today and we rallied today we gapped down in the pre-market we were selling off in the pre-market again and that down 194 we, we were yeah michael uh, you know usually in the midterm i think on average the S&P is down nearly 17% since World War II, and then it bounces back 32%. Are we going to get a bounce back even with this fight over tariffs? Well, look, I, I don't think this, I think this tariff stuff is all noise. The U.S. economy is doing spectacularly. We had a fantastic manufacturing number today. So, like, as long as the, the U.S. economy continues to chug along and continues to approve, which I think will happen for another couple more years, stocks will ultimately end up higher. In the interim, things like tariffs, trade wars, nuclear war with North Korea, those will cause headline risk and, you know, possibly create opportunities to get in. Michael, do you think it's lower. been totally so, unfair? Do you think the trade tariffs have been unfair to the U.S.? Well, look, I, I think we can do a lot better. And the best correlation I've heard for these trade tariffs and these trade wars is, is we're essentially the union workers going on strike. We don't normally go back to work without a better deal. We, have yeah. a, we are the largest economy. We have a huge trade, uh, trade surplus in balance uh, in the okay. U.S. So we're almost always going to come out ahead because we're the ones carrying the bigger stick in the form of you our trade imbalance. Uh, and listen, it's not, but there's one thing that everybody's you missing. You think the trade imbalance No, is, I, the think, trade I think that it's unfair. You think it's unfair. Okay. I think it's unfair. So I think what Trump's 
I think what Trump is doing is not unfair okay. by imposing this restrictions. I think in the end it's better, but there's something else. Trump is concerned about our national security. I don't know if you remember this, but but Broadcom wanted to purchase QCOM. This was back in 2017. Broadcom, yeah. Exactly. And that did not go through. And the reason was Trump cited national security. Remember, China is stealing a lot of our intellectual property and information. And Everybody I think, keeps forgetting that. Right, this is just about the tariffs. And this has been a problem for, I think, since 2001, Michael. Long this time. has been a real long-term problem. I think finally, possibly, China is getting embarrassed by this, Michael. Final word. Well, look, I, China is super aggressive on all fronts, and they need to be confronted. Uh, again, over the long run, like okay. we, we need China, and China needs us. They need us far more than we need them. But it, look, this yeah. works better if we could both play nicely. Well, it's made make America great again versus China's made in China 2025. You guys are going to come back on this and more, Michael, Melissa. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thanks. And while it is getting to the finish line, President Trump narrowing his picks for the replacement to. Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy. We've got the story in the details, the latest coming up. And it is a victory for the left in Mexico's election. But what does it mean to have a socialist, who, socialist who's now saying he possibly may go soft on crime right at our border? We've got the details on that coming up. Stay right there.